and spirits review tonight from tailgate beer it's their peanut butter milk stout sounds gorgeous doesn't it it does it and these are based in nashville tennessee there's somebody else who was based in nashville tennessee was it was it mr presley was he there? Uh, i wasn't around when he was around oh but i was about six years old so good evening this beer is yeah, my eyes. I think it's either five percent or five point eight. Just shows you how bad my eyes are. <clears throat> Let me take this down. Oh dear, what a day! Tell you what, I don't want any starts to the day like that again. Right, it looks like it's a five point eight. Jesus, God, my eyes! Shocking. Good evening, everyone. So yeah, I got to work this morning. A bit of a shock, I must admit. Some twat taking 170 quid out of my account, or 169.99 for being precise. Evening. Yes, the uh, the day started off shitty. I just got to work, and then yeah, Google Store. Yeah, there's a word for them. It rhymes with anchor. <laughs> yeah. And I ain't had it. I ain't had, basically, um, I got up this morning and you know, you know, sometimes you think to yourself, did I drink too much last night? <laughs> yeah. I, so I got to work at about 20 to 7. I got to Newark and uh, I looked on my phone. I've got an email. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And uh, <laughs> got this email saying, I sent 169.99 to Google and I'm thinking, no, I fucking didn't. So I checked my PayPal. Nothing. Um, all my PayPal's been wiped out and 70 quid out the out the bank. And I think, fucking hell. So I'm checking this I'm Google. I thought, what the fuck's this? Wife rings me up. What the hell have you been buying? I says nothing. So next minute, I thought we'd been hacked. So we 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 cancelled. Change the PayPal um, um, password straight away. Cancelled the bank account. Cancelled the bank card. Then we started to try and investigate. And uh, it came up at the bottom. Something to do. And this, with PayPal, and this is where I don't get, with PayPal, you have to authorise the payment yourself first. This payment was basically Google... Um, going through PayPal and saying that um, it was pre-authorised. I think, what the fuck's this? So anyway, uh, the wife got onto PayPal. Nothing we can do. It's all down to Google. Uh, the bank says we can't do anything. So I put a, I put a um, I put a claim into Google. Plus, I also sent a right shitty email to this um, what's it called? That bastard game. Oh, I forgot the fucking name of it now. I'm not. Anyway, sent an email to them. Plus, I went on their Facebook page and absolutely, I put a post to the right nice comment saying, "What? Why are you robbing me of 169 quid?" I thought, "I'll fucking, I'll, I'll give you some bad, um, you know, bad media." And uh, luckily, by to after, then I did it on YouTube as well. I thought, oh, "I'm going for the bastards, nicking that money off me." Plus the stress they gave me. You know, first thing in the morning, you don't need that stress. You're like, what the fuck? Especially when I thought I'd been hacked. And uh, not long after I did the video on YouTube, they actually, uh, PayPal actually responded and they said it was fraudulent, you know, unauthorised. So they did it. But I'm still going to, I'm still going to go. I'm not sure. Um... I'm not sure if it is a scam or a cock up. I've had no correspondence from either Google or the arsehole um, company. I bought my son a game last year, £1.69. And it was that that triggered this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it'd be that that triggered this. But you can imagine, you know, you, you, it's not just me. I'm not thinking of myself because I've got my money back now. But you look around the country, how many more people have they done this to? Whether it was mistake or not, I don't care. You know, and I'll use, luckily, I've got my own gaming news website. 
and my website's quite influential. Bless you, but she's bitter. Whoa. And uh, I'll definitely um, have a go back at them for it. Oh, there's been some irregularities today. Bastards. <laughs> yeah. And it puts you off, doesn't it? It puts you off because you think to yourself... These, these are, I mean, you can imagine if you're on the breadline, if you're on the breadline and that money goes, and as I do, I actually suffer with really bad anxiety. So this morning at quarter to seven, fucking hell, I was absolutely in, in stress to I heaven. So this is from Tailgate Beer, a peanut butter milk stout, 5.8%, lovely near black colour. Little white head, and uh, let's, yeah, let's get on with the beer. Oh, flipping heck, beautiful peanut aroma. Um, based in Nashville, Tennessee, and this was part of that um, surprise low cost beer um, delivery last week. So, absolutely stunning. The aroma, oh, god, the aroma. I I like peanuts, um, and I like a bit of peanut. Well, I've used peanut butter to kill mouse and rats, but that's another story altogether. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I do love the smell of peanut butter. And the aroma is absolutely, whew, hits the spot perfectly. Oh, bloody hell, the tasters as well. Absolutely cracking. Oh, that's one of them beers. You know them beers that make you smile, that hit the spot? This is one of those beers. I suppose the only down there is it's only a 330ml can, but hey, you can't win them all, can you? But yeah. Peanut butter is brilliant, rat bait. That's what I used to kill three rats that got in my kitchen, little bastards. <clears throat> I do apologise for the profanity. Yeah, I used it in the um, the poison to kill them, and uh, I splattered them, put poison down, and they absolutely ate them. I mean, my ass is like Fort Knox now. Oh, right, let me check. I mean, I thought it was 3.30, but let me get the old... Uh, Now, it looks like it's 5.8%, I've got to be honest. I can't see the, um, I can't see the um, size of the can. It's got something about 10 cents when you give the can back. No, I can't actually see. Um, I can't actually see anywhere where it says the, the actual size of the can. Which is strange, because they normally do. All right, then, let's get a normal can. I would say, yeah, that's three, That's 355 mils. You're right. Well done. Good knowledge. Oh, fits in me, fits in me glass. It's the light in here that don't help. You know, when I'm in supermarkets, I can read perfectly. Don't know, I've never seen any opticians. <laughs> yeah, they're dead all right, little bastards. Sorted them out. Yeah. Yes, well and truly dead. Good evening. What a lovely beer. Uh, 
Ah, uh, right, yeah, that's why I probably can't see it then. Yeah. Nonetheless, an awesome beer. I do love these peanut butter beers. This is from Low Cost Beer. Whether they've still got any on the site, I wouldn't know. Um, this week, though, all those draft beers should go on this week. And I'm not sure why he hasn't put them on already. Maybe he has to, he's only got capacity for so many. It was a piss take, I tell you. You know, at that time in the morning, I don't need that shit. Bad enough that he got you at work. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, fucking hell. You know when you, someone's robbing you, you want to get to, you know if it was a shop, I'd have left work, gone to the shop and said, what's your game, mate? You know, in no uncertain terms. What I think he does, uh, he's got the kegs or whatever, the, you know them, the barrels, the kegs or whatever they are. He's got them because I've seen them. I've seen the photos, but I'm not sure if he's got enough pumps to, to so you know you can put them on draft. Good evening. Good evening. And uh, so yeah, and I know he's got quite a few draft beers on at the moment. Although basically a lot of them are ciders, and I'm not interested in the ciders. Old Rose is all right, but. But I want to sit, you know, that all that new draft stuff should come on. Two of them have come on. There's two new draft beers. I mean, for me, the Discovery Pack is a great way to go. If you can get some of the new stock. This is a peanut butter milk stout. 5.8% made by Tailgate Beer in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, I've got to say. Massive peanut butter on the nose, peanut butter on the taste. Does what it says on the tin, basically. But it's bloody Moorish, so Moorish. If you love your peanut butters, or oh. you've got to be fair, the Americans do make some good stuff. Ten point five percent. Jesus. Now that sounds damn raggy, haven't you? That does. Oh. How did you get it to ten point five percent? If I'm don't mind asking. Yeah, I can't see my face. It it tastes lovely as well. It really is nice. It's a, it's a true treat. This is chilled. Room temperature, this would excel even more. And I've been doing, a, I've been, most of the beers I've been doing have been a, a chilled temperature. Even porters and stouts, just to see how they, how they, how they go. And, uh, I tell you what, I wish I lived near Cambridge. Um, is it Peterborough, Cambridge, where is St. Neots? I'd love to be there. I'd love to work in his shop. If it was on if I tell you what, if it was round if it was about 15 to 20 miles away, I'd I'd, I'd say to him, Do you need another worker? Because selling beer to people, pouring out beer, doing orders, I'd do that. I'd leave gardening for that. Although, driving home after a day at work would be a killer, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'd be pissed up every day. Oh, so Moorish. And after a long day at work, I mean, luckily by 12 o'clock the day got better. And I was that angry while I was at work. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. I'll send you the pennies for postage and packaging. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, I mean, I was, I was digging holes this morning. I was, I did a load, I planted a new border at work, about 50 foot long, if probably, probably a bit longer, all new with plants in. And I was planting that fast. I was that fucking pissed off digging the holes that I'd done so much so early in the day because you know how you are when you're angry, you're like, fuck it out. And uh, I was fuming, fuming. I'm all right now, I've had a drink. But um, if that was all right at 12 o'clock. Yeah, Google. I'm really going to stir it with them as well, you know. <laughs> I know. If I worked at 
smiling grape. I'd, I'd have to, um, I'd have to have samples to take him. I need to go south at some stage. Um, I want to go to Paulton's Park. Uh, they've got a new area this year for their theme park. And I've got to take a trip down there. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And the wife is as well. Although it hasn't gone in the bank yet. The money that was took out of the bank. But it's dirty. I, I, I can't stand dishonest people. And that was that was not, not, not good today. You know, Geometry Dash. That's the bloody game. Came to me in the end. Yeah. These people are making millions. So what the hell happened? Oh, yeah. Sand. Oh, might have to have a meet-up. Yeah, we're going to go to Paul. We want to go to Paulton's this year, do a, a two-day stopper. Two days down at Paulton, one day um, in the hotel. Yeah, I have no idea. And I've I mean, PayPal at first weren't going to do anything. They said it was a, it was a, it was a, a legal transaction. And then later, good evening. Later, they um, they refunded me, saying it was not an authorized transaction. So good on PayPal, because that saved me having to worry. Because it was going to be two weeks. Some people are saying it was going to be three three months. And I'm thinking, there's no way on God's green I'm waiting three months for my money back. Not the wife's birthday. Bloody hell. I bet it was packed. Any decent beers on the bar? Although I've got to be careful. My, my uh, yeah. Paulton's Park has improved massively, um, massively. Oh, gotta say that's absolutely awesome. The taste, um, love the the peanut butter side of things. Oh, Kells, Taylor's landlord. Oh, that's nice. No, same phone. I reckon it's just the lines. Yeah, I presume it is. Um, it's the funny thing is the same. We bought some rent to own bargains and bought some of their, their um, bulbs. And we put some in the kitchen as well because the kitchen, we walked into our kitchen. It's like the dark hole of Calcutta. We put new bulbs in. Brilliant. I mean, my, my lad now, my youngest, he's, um, he's just turned 1.4 metres, 1.42 metres. So now, yeah, Oak Hills is decent. Now we can start going to Fort Park, uh, Paulton's, Flamingo Land, and go on all the rides. And uh, he's he's pretty decent with rides as well. He loves the rides. So that's great for me and the wife. Is it? If anybody watched the Butterscotch review I did earlier, the Buttermunch review, you'll have noticed I've got the biggest red face again. God knows what that is. Must be... Must be coming out the cold into the warm, although it's not that warm in the shed, to be fair. Bless them. I can't fault them for opening that time. I know when pubs open in Nottingham, I'm heading to the pub. Sod it. Well, Get get any any of the friends that are there and get in that. No, no makeup. <laughs> Won't be seen dead in the stuff. No, I've just got a a receding airline and grey air with a bit of darkness involved as well. In fact, if I put water on the air, it don't look as bad. Although it's going to get shaved again soon because I can't stand when it goes long on the sides just looks awful plus i've had my hat on all day so uh kept warm yeah that 
that's how I am at work. Yeah, bless you. Keeps the head warm though, you know, stops you getting cold. Good old Euclid Rover. That was one amazing Imperial Porter they did. Oh, missed that. Hotback Brewery, I've had that, Summer Lightning, reviewed that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, it's nice to have a chat, isn't it? I mean, today, where I work, the amount of birds, fucking hell, Summer Lightning, I, I do like that. I found it in Morrison's once, it was one of them beers that they're not supposed to have, and it was reduced to 50 pence. Straight in, straight in the uh, basket. Ah, good review fodder. Although I did dive for cover earlier. These two fucking partridges flew over and they must have been on the other side of the wall, very close to the wall. And they flew over and I'm like, you know, and they were that close to my head as they flew over. There's a lot that are better on cask. Um, Castle Rock's Harvest Pale is amazing on cask. Out of the bottle, not as good. You know, it was a supreme champion beer of Britain in 2010. But, um, yeah, some are, aren't they? Then again, I'd rather drink it out of a bottle than have it in a, you know, where you have a takeaway, where you have a, dra a bottle that you fill up, at, you know, a draft and you bring home and you drink it four hours later because... By then, it's lost some of its integrity, I think. Good evening. Sparrowhawk, wow. I bet that's had a few pigeons. Elsie Mo. Ooh, I don't think I've ever had that on cask. I've had Screech Isle on cask. I've had Harvest Pale. I've had a lot of the range that uh, Castle Rock do and years ago they did Kiss Me Kate that was lovely it, it's absolutely delicious I love the peanut butter nose I love the peanut butter taste throughout and the nice strength as well going down the tree oh this pale and screech owl screech owl is amazing both in the bottle, but on draft. Wow. Stratford Haven in West Bridgeford. Bless you. My old stomping ground, uh, West Bridgeford. I used to work there. Um, in, not in this job, not in the job I'm in at the moment, or my last job, but the job before. From 2015 to 2019, uh, West Bridgeford was my area. Uh, looking after all the gardens and uh, whatnot. And uh, yeah, good pub. You can't beat some freebies, can you? You know. You see it chilled, this tastes divine. At room temperature, this would be another level. And uh, it's an eye opener this year, you know, with some of the stuff, some of the dark beers. Oh, they taste good at this temperature, but at a room temperature, you're looking at something that say a 4.4 at room temperature. Bloody hell, it's got to be a, a 4.5, 4.6. And it's funny, when I went to America, I haven't been to America since 2013, but in 2013, all they had, and it's, I suppose it was the same in, in Britain as well. In Britain in 2013, Brewdog was really the only craft brewer uh, that was in the big shops. Um, but in 2013 in America, the only thing near to craft that you could get in, in Walmart, you know, Asda, uh, you could get guns. A bit weird walking around, there's a fucking gun area. You're like, what the hell? <clears throat> Lots of Budweiser. But Blue Moon, I got Blue Moon in the 12 pack. That was the closest thing to a decent beer over there. Unless you can't lager as beer. But, um, mm. 
He does it now. Ooh. See, I've looked at some of them flavorings. And you know when you see the, the because the small bottles, I, I've seen some of them. And because the small bottles, you think, oh, are they any good? I'll tell you what. Blue Moon over there. Blue Moon over here is something different. Over there, there's that many variants. Agave flavour. Lots of different I've got another email. Lots of different flavours. That's probably Google. Um apologising for being dickheads. But yeah, it was amazing when I was over there. Then again, I also had a butterscotch liqueur when I was over there. The canipers, butterscotch liqueur. You, you can't get it here. You can't get it. In America, you could get it. And I don't think I even drank the bottle. Jesus. Our seven years has changed me. Back then, I would struggle to drink much. Nowadays, well, <clears throat> you know, it's all about coping, isn't it? Good evening. If I, if I knew the plum essence that you're on about was sweet, then, uh, you know, to do a, to do a stout and getting two bottles, so you're actually doubling the plum and dropping it in. I've just used two gigabytes of data, apparently. Whoa. <clears throat> yeah, dropping it in at the end, end of the first fermentation before it goes in the bottle. So do your fermentation, then drop it all in. And then just before you bottle it, you know, obviously you've took it, you've took, you've got rid of the sediment layer, put that in. Then add the sugar into each bottle or, or drops, whatever you use. That'd be an interesting time to do it. <sighs> Definitely got some interesting brews I want to try this year. Definitely. Uh, butterscotch being one of them. Good evening. I do down here. If What I really need to buy myself is probably a Wi-Fi um, <clears throat> camcorder. A 4K Wi-Fi camcorder um, for the shed. Well, you think when you crack open a can, if you smell or bottle, the initial smell you get is super concentrated. So maybe that, maybe so, maybe maybe the aroma comes through better then but then again some beers just have a decent aroma on them some are a lot more you know subtle a lot more subtle i need to get some stuff i need to do some more beer kits ready for the summer and uh i've got a little money earner coming off the internet so i may actually go out um and buy the the simply ginger beer kits that i want Ooh. yeah it does reach the bottom of the garden what it doesn't do it doesn't get past the triple uh insulation layer that i've got in this shed not that the insulation does bugger all but it stops the Wi-Fi signal, apparently. I definitely need to think of a decent stout to get to to brew. I want to brew two stouts together in one fermentation bucket. Again, use either champagne yeast, probably, or even a Belgium yeast, maybe. And, uh, and then at the end of the fermentation, one litre of butterscotch flavouring from uh, the cake company near near us and do an imperial butterscotch stout. It's on my dream list of stuff to do this year. And I will do it at some stage. But you're looking at nearly 50 quid to, for the bits, all the bits involved. And then I wonder, do you put oak chips in it, you know, just to get an oakiness from it? Would you use oak chips in a beer? I mean, I've used them in wine many times. But in a beer, don't know. Um, I'll have to read on the internet, see if anybody else has done it, and see what comes up we come up with. Seven percent we have is absolutely gorgeous. I'm glad to see you back on the beer as well. I 
I've got I've still got some alcohol free jobbies I have yeah might have them in the summer oh bless you the mangrove grapefruit is absolutely gorgeous yeah I'm thinking the same I'm thinking especially for the ginger beer that I'm on about doing doing a ginger beer with oak similar to um Jim Beam Barrel Aged. Bless you. That sounds nice. It's a good thing it's February, isn't it? I've got 23 bottles of Singtao UK alcohol free in the house. No one's bothered about it. So I'm, I'm going to have to end up giving the bugger away to somebody just to get rid of the stuff. <laughs> Can't see myself drinking it either. You know, it was OK to drink, but I'm just not an alcohol free person. Especially at seven, quarter past seven, quarter to seven. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah, a lot of people thinking, fuck that, they get me on the beer. And you can't fault them, can you? If you've done a month of alcohol free, then you deserve a beer tonight. Yeah. I'm trying to keep the beer industry going. That's what that's my excuse. Oh dear, what a stunning beer. <laughs> I've got to cut some pallet, pallet wood up tomorrow night for the shed, for the hot tub room, so I can start cladding the hot tub room. Might have to use some of the chippings from there. One way doing it. So. <laughs> Tailgate beer. Never had a beer from these fellas. Uh, or ladies, you never know these days. Um, yeah, I'm not sure either. But yeah, tailgate beer from Nashville, Tennessee. It's 5.8% and I'm on 5%. So my phone's going to die any moment. So I don't let it go any much further. And I can't see the writing now either. I can see myself just, but the right, you know, it, it goes very dark when you get to 5%. So from Tailgate Beer out of Nashville, Tennessee, another great American beer. Obviously, it was got from low cost beer as, a, as an awesome donation. I can't see anything now. Um, massive peanut butter aroma, massive peanut butter taste. And I've got to be honest, Chilled, it was awesome. Room temperature, you were talking next level. And another gobsmackingly good beer. Low cost in this last uh, mega. I mean, there's, there's still new beers arriving on their website daily. Yeah, <laughs> I can just about read that. Something about hot tubs. Um, Yeah, I can't read it. Um, <clears throat> absolutely awesome taste throughout. And uh, out of five then. Oh, there's a thing. A chilled temperature. Because, you know, it is chilled. Uh, you know, can't lie. Um, it's going to be, for me, about a 4.5 out of five. Very, very good. Probably the best peanut... It's the fact that it's all dark. I can't see the fucking screen. Um, <laughs> about 5.5. 5.5. 4.5 .5 out of 5. And uh, just so you know, there's another review coming straight online after this. And you may have picked it up from Aldi this week. And that, well, that one's going on. But yeah, absolute classic beer. Awesome. And now, thank you all for watching. And... Uh, Fucking hell, I can't see a shit now. It's gone really dark. It's gonna it's gonna go off any second, so I need to kill it before it goes off. 
And again, thank you all for watching and uh, see you soon. See you tomorrow. About six o'clock-ish. Cheers. Right, where's the eggs gone? Ah, there they are.